Hi, this is Sopin Bharti and we are here at DockerCon and we have with us Stanley yes. today. Uh, so yesterday we met, you know, and uh, so tell us about your story. Where are you from? All right. Uh, my name is Stanley Indagi. I'm from Nairobi, Kenya. Yeah, so I'm a developer in Nairobi, Kenya, and I work for a company in, uh, called Andela. So what Andela does is that it bridges African developers to the US, UK, and even Asian markets. So uh, instead of the typical dev shop where you throw your project over the wall and boom, after six months you have it. So we integrate with the team. So these developers are integrated into the team. So if you want a senior engineer, a DevOps engineer, a test engineer, you just come to Andela and you have them on board. So I work for now a partner of Andela, best of Chicago, and I'm a data engineer there. And that's how I use Docker. So my Docker story started out really interesting. My technical team lead said, hey, we've heard about Docker. This is two years ago, actually. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We've heard about Docker. Could, we, could one of you take up that task and uh, Dockerize our application? I took it up and it eliminated this whole story of it works on my machine, it doesn't work on yours. It's working right. locally, it's not working. Yeah, and uh, from then on, aside from just the developer workflow, it's now being, I'm now using it for production, for testing on AWS, so it's pretty interesting. How, how you happen to come to, to DockerCon? Okay, now this is interesting. Even to myself, I wouldn't have imagined I would have come to DockerCon. So I actually applied for a diversity scholarship and uh, the application was really simple. I just gave out my story of what I've mentioned earlier, developer mm -hmm. workflow using Docker. I've also spoken to in meetups Mm -hmm. both in Nairobi and uh, Abuja in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And uh, th that's because in Andela you have exchange. I could, we have, uh, we have offices in Nairobi, and Uganda, Nigeria, mm -hmm. and I applied for an exchange, was there for three months, mm -hmm. and also spoke for a meetup there. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I guess it was just that, pretty much that simple. Mm -hmm. I gave my story of Docker and how I'm passionate about Docker and that application. Mm -hmm. And it went well. I got a successful uh, application. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then uh, so the what DockerCon gives you is a ticket. Mm -hmm. As soon as the ticket is uh, given, you basically now need to fund your uh, flight here and accommodation. Okay. And that's what Andela funded me. So it's both DockerCon and Andela bringing me here. Okay. And yeah. how has been your experience here at DockerCon? DockerCon is amazing. So even uh, so, so many people, you get to meet so many people. Mm -hmm. Like you, uh, I remember just talking to someone and you're like, just normal conversing, what do you do with Docker? And then you ask, oh, and where do you work? And they're telling me AWS, they work in HP. So I'm meeting some uh, guys who are working with really big companies, Cisco, and I'm learning a lot. The sessions are talking about Kubernetes, like best practices, there's black belt sessions over there which can be a bit above my pay grade, but yeah, mm. uh, you get to learn a lot and you basically expose it. What new have you learned that you're taking back with you, you to share with your team? Okay, so something I've uh, I identified with Docker is that they're really big on community. Mm -hmm. So leveraging the community out there. So there's Docker captains, we have uh, Docker community leaders. So that's the, those are definitely people I'll be following on, mm -hmm. on social media and YouTube. Secondly is that uh, now that uh, with Brighthive, the partner of Andela I'm working with, mm -hmm. we are shifting from uh, just uh, doing, uh, mostly pushing our products mm -hmm. to production. So I've been picking up mostly security of mm -hmm. containers, looking at orchestration, We've used Chef a little bit, we've used uh, AWS, but now with AWS uh, Fargate, which was released recently, mm -hmm. and also Aqua Microscanner, that's on security. Like, uh, those are the things I'm actually taking back home. Best practices, looking at security, containerization, and uh, also orchestration, for the most part, yeah. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Anything else you would like to touch on? But uh, I think we have talked about, we got some basic things about you. Yeah, yeah. so uh, let's see. Uh, maybe one more thing that I've also picked up is uh, there's a transform theme within Docker where you're talking about diversity, you're talking about uh, just changing the whole mm -hmm. talk about in the community. Mm -hmm. So I've really picked 
so much around there. Mm. And personally, I'm also big on open source and it's really interesting even coming across you and uh, the stories that you capture. And uh, it's, for the most part, uh, I'm, I'm looking into just expanding myself, mm -hmm. being a lifelong learner, not just uh, looking at Docker, yes, I'm using Docker, but mm -hmm. also hearing from other people and saying, okay, you can actually change a lot more in this ecosystem. Yeah, and I'm, I'm really impressed by what San Francisco has to offer. There's so many technology companies and there's a lot of collaboration. So that collaboration thing, feeling really awesome. Yeah. Awesome, yeah. Sanit, nice meeting you. Nice and meeting hopefully you. we'll see you more of the work that you're doing there. Awesome, okay. thank you. Yeah, thanks for your time. Thank you. Cheers. Okay.